Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am in New Mexico. We're on Thanksgiving break and just enjoying being in another state. So here we are. <laughs> just having a good time. Fight, looking at some rocks. Oh, Look at that rock. That looks like an egg. Did. Look that up. Some good things. Uncle Trent will show you the kind of things that's some granite with a layer of quartz in it. Hey! A lot of volcanic rocks around here. Welcome to New Mexico. There are volcanic rocks everywhere. Definitely more volcanics. Yeah, some quartz right there. Mm -hmm. Looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. I found that it's a volcanic. I found that it already In these volcanics, you can find geodes. Maybe we can find some. Mostly we're looking for agates. Huh, I think I found a nice agate right here. Yes, that's a good looking agate. It's got some nice colors in it. Let's hold it up to the sun. Look at this biggest one. Look at this biggest yeah, It's pretty opaque, but still. Look, it's actually not too bad. Look, this is the biggest it's a nice one. little agate. Really beautiful yeah. one. Look at that beautiful thing. That is a beautiful granite. That pink feldspar in there. Hmm. What are you guys finding over here? Hmm. Oh, you found a big piece of agate. Uh -huh. Well, here, let me help you get it out. You ready? Really Look at that off. one. Uh -huh. Show that one off. She found a big piece of agate. I could probably keep that. That's cool. She got more, some more volcanics, kind of the greenish stuff and then the light color. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right. Found a nice little fossil here. It's a neat little uh, brachiopod. Kind of unusual to find in the wash because they'll break up pretty easily but this yeah nice cool. little brachiopod yeah that's a volcanic rock that's got some nice little layers in it neat all right i found this piece yeah. get better lighting so you can see layers of the uh, chalcedony with some crystal growth on the middle and then you can see the surrounding volcanic rock which kind of has a green color to it but it does have some uh, nice layering through it Maybe even a little bit of agate. It looks like the center part is actually calcite. Kind of neat. What you got over here? Found a hamburger. <laughs> That's neat. So you kind of got that red jasper in the middle, and you got some la little layers of agate on the edge that are actually quite nice. Because of those beautiful bands, layering bands. Very small though. That's a, that's a pretty neat rock. So there we go, found a nice little banded jasper. Kind of got nice little swirls and colors going through it. Neat. I was just bending over to put the rock in my bag. Saw this, looked interesting. Some interesting colors and patterns in it. Yeah, look at that. Almost like a mixture of jasper agate. Interesting. All right, I was over here and I found this. Kind of sounds like glass. But looking at it closely. Might be calcite. Or gypsum. Well, I don't think gypsum makes that sound, but maybe. I'm scratching my finger now. Oh. No, it's gypsum. <laughs> scratching it with my finger now. Of course it's gypsum. But yeah, it's kind of a nice, clear one. I'll show them because they probably haven't seen it before. Hey, this one kind of has a little bit of color to it, but yeah, not that good still. Hey, look at that. That looks very colorful. It's also very stuck in there. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, look at those colors and patterns in it. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Oh. 
Didn't find a whole lot for a while. I was coming back down and found this big chunk just sitting in the wash. It's kind of an agate, kind of just a calcedony. Interesting stuff, <laughs> but we're heading back. <laughs> yeah. Heading Sun's back. getting low. It's getting harder to see things. Future rock hand. What are you doing? Put those rocks in that bucket. I made it back to Utah from New Mexico, got all the samples washed off, so let's quickly take a look and see how they turned out. Here's the first one, it's kind of a red jasper. It's got a few neat colors and patterns in it. It's just that agate that I found. This one is pretty nice. Colors and patterns. Almost has a wood green texture to it. Really pretty. This one had some really nice banding in it. Quite pretty. This is that large one that had the nice layers of agate and what I think is calcite in the middle. It looks like calcite. I haven't really tested it, but I think it's calcite. Yeah, you can see some banding in it. There's that big one. There's nice. Here's the last one. This was my favorite. It's got really cool patterns in it. All kinds of designs. Yeah, I really liked this one. Yeah. Hold it up to the light. Those were the specimens I found. Some of them turned out pretty nice. There were some nice colors and patterns, and it was overall a pretty fun trip. It was pretty short. That's why this video is a little shorter than others. And I know some of you are like, oh no, he didn't post last week, and the week before was an unboxing. Is his channel disappearing? <laughs> no, I am just really busy with my master's degree. I've been working really hard with it, so I haven't had as much time for YouTube videos, but I do plan to add more hopefully in the next month or so. But come January, it's gonna get really busy for me. I don't know how often I'll be able to post a, video, post a video from about January through April. So yeah, it's gonna be a little rough then because I'm gonna be doing my student teaching. But as soon as that's over and the spring and summer comes back, I'll be right back at videos. Besides, that's the time to rock hound anyway. It's a little too cold around here to be rock hounding during the winter. The ground gets frozen, makes it hard. Anyway, so it was overall a pretty good dig. I had a great time, and remember, there's treasure everywhere. <laughs>